Great to see you here again. My name is Luc de Custer, founder of the Custer Academy. And in this video, I want to talk to you about the direct, indirect and service procurement. So different types of procurement. We will see into it what it is, what it means, so, you're that, so that you understand what types of procurement we can consider. But before we continue, don't forget to click on the subscribe button, click on the bell button. And whenever we have a new video, YouTube will inform you about it. So let's have a look at the direct, indirect procurement and service procurement. In direct procurement, we are considering the acquisition of goods, materials, and or services for the manufacturing process. Examples are raw materials, machinery, and resale items. Direct procurement drives external profit and continuous growth in revenue. Also, it comprises of stock materials or parts for production. And we want to have a long-term collaborative supplier relationship. These are basically the main products that will uh, get our production alive, that helps us create products that have a high quality. And indirect procurement is about sourcing and purchasing materials, goods or services for internal use, like telephones, computers, paper clips, things like that. Typically, for what you want to do, uh, these things make your organization work. We look at utilities, facility management, travel, things like that. We look at taking care of day-to-day -day operations, and we use the, them to buy consumables and perishables. So typically, things that we are using to do uh, the processes, to keep the processes running. We typically look at a short-term transactional relationship with suppliers, but it's not necessarily the case. You can also find longer time, but it's not so dramatic if you have to change the supplier uh, when you compare it with direct procurement. Services procurement is about uh, workforce and consulting services, typically. We look at professional services, software subscriptions, and so on. We have to, we use them to solve process and people gaps typically used to purchase external services and staff. And we have sometimes a one-off or a contractual relationship with suppliers. These suppliers can also have a long relationship. Uh, typically in at t we had a lot of uh, external consultants who were working on our projects for a longer time. And we had, a, let's say, a very long-term good relationship with the people who supplied those, uh, let's say, external resources, external consultants. So that was it for this video. Don't forget to click on the subscribe button, click on the bell button. And whenever we have a new video, YouTube will inform you about it. Thank you and bye-bye.